never thought we'd be talking about this guy in 2024. Republicans put Dick Cheney out to pasture long ago. Democrats hated him for 20 plus years. They accused him of being Trump-like, a dictator, a war criminal. But now that he has endorsed Kamala Harris, he is a brave fighter for democracy. Dick Cheney was vice president of the United States for eight years. He was a senior member of uh, the House. He was chief of staff to Gerald Ford. He worked tirelessly to advance Republican policies for a long time. You don't think his, uh, his endorsement of a Democrat with that kind of pedigree is going to make a difference with no, Dana, voters? No, I really, I, I really don't. All right, Vice President, political strategy, Crooked Media, Shaniqua McClendon is here, Democratic political strategist, Denny Salas. Great to have both of you. Welcome back to D.C. from um, New York. Uh, all right, Shaniqua, is that, is that all it takes to rehabilitate Dick Cheney? Um, okay. People, no one's ever thought Dick Cheney was stupid. He knows Donald Trump is a threat. That doesn't mean we like him now. We just know he has a brain. All right. I mean, B Bernie Sanders, uh, Bernie Sanders went a little bit farther than that. Take a listen. But I cannot support somebody who is a pathological liar, somebody who fomented a, a insurrection to overthrow the election return. So I applaud the Cheneys for their courage in defending democracy, obviously, on all the issues. We have very different points of view. Denny, I, I, Denny, I'm on to something here, right? OK, come on. Come <laughs> I mean, on. They, like, like, all of a sudden now, Dick Cheney is this sort of statesman figure who <laughs> needs to be listened to rather than made fun of for shooting his hunting partner. I mean, look, I think Democrats viewed him as a Trump before Trump. He was a guy that obviously shot his friend in the face when he was out hunting. Um, I was in the shoulder, but, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, but you know, I think some pelts still landed in the face area. But, you know, that being said, I think that at the end of the day, he's a gentleman that still loves America and he's putting country above party. And that is going to resonate to a lot of the disenchanted But, it, but it, doesn't, it doesn't resonate, right? Dick Cheney, Liz Cheney, Jimmy McCain, uh, Olivia Troy, John Giles, Jeff Duncan, Stephanie Grisham, 200 former Republican senators, all these people, there's now an ad out of people, Mike Pence included, saying that Donald Trump should be president. It's not working. The, it's there's, not working. It's going to be at the margins. We all know that this is already a close election. You really think there's mm -hmm. people, you really guys really think there's people out there yes. that were going to vote for Donald Trump and they have heard from Dick Cheney no. and now they're like, oh no. That's not oh, what no, we're no, saying. No. That's not at, at least not what I'm saying. What I am saying is I think there's some people who did not want to vote for Donald Trump, had no intention on voting for Donald Trump, but now they have a bit of uh, permission to vote for Kamala Harris. And, you know, not voting for Trump is one thing, but actually giving Kamala Harris the vote is a whole other thing that will help her win. Okay. All right. Well, I would add one thing, too. Please. Like, remember, even after Nikki Haley dropped out, you still had a sizable between 15 to 20 percent to be of fair, Republican she, primary. She, to be state. fair, she's now endorsed. She has endorsed, she, 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 but she's endorsed. not on the campaign. But I don't think her voters have. Not all of saying, them. And she's well, also it's a, it, 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 well, I, I, guess, I guess we'll see. Um, I thought this was fascinating, just in terms of celebrity and endorsements. Elton John. How did it feel when he took the lyrics to Rocket Man and used it to nickname Kim Jong Un? Uh, I laughed. I thought it was brilliant. I thought, good on you, Donald. I'm the Rocket Man. Yeah, Donald's always been a fan of mine. He's always been in my conscience many times. I've been friendly towards him. Thank him for his support. When he did that, I just thought it was hilarious. Is Elton John finally the one celebrity who is allowed <laughs> to like Donald Trump and not be canceled? Look, I think Donald Trump is funny. I don't think anyone's going to say that he's not a humorous person. Agreed. Like, he is very funny. So, and think about it. This is a guy that also had relationships with all these celebrities way before he started running for president and started saying some of the controversial things. That back, when he, exactly. back, back when, when he was a Democrat. Exactly. Back when he was a Democrat. Okay, exactly. and then look, Elton John, El like, you have to think that there are certain celebrities, there's, there's a world in which saying something nice about Donald Trump mm -hmm. gets you, like, cut off from happy celebrity elite world, right? I mean, I can think about, like, uh, Ivana Trump. Like, I can't really think of someone who has been purely cut off other than her and her husband from kind of elite social life in New York. I guess we're being a little specific. Well, but um, I, I think that Democrats... I, don't know, I thought it was kind of brave of them. Uh, no, I, I agree with that. I do think it was brave to go out on the limb, especially when you have, you know, all the Hollywood folks and all these celebrities already saying, don't play our music. Don't, don't play that music in the rally. Here's a cease and desist letter. When you have all those things and you have one guy that just goes out there and says, look, I appreciated it. 
Like, that's okay. I don't think that Elton John's quote is, or him saying that is going to sway voters. Or I mean, we put Elton John saying... and Dick Cheney there. All right. Like it's... Oh. <laughs> Apples and oranges. <laughs> I never thought I'd do a segment where I got the two of them together in a segment. It's good to see both of you. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.